He is known for his work in the U.S. human spaceflight program, particularly in the spacecraft closeout crews. He is recognized for his leadership and role as the PAD leader at the Kennedy Space Center for various space missions. His name is Gunter F. Wendt. In the annals of the U.S. human spaceflight program, one name stands out, Gunter F. Wendt, the German-born American mechanical engineer who played a crucial role in shaping history. Wendt's journey began as an employee of McDonnell Aircraft and later North American Aviation, where he took charge of the spacecraft closeout crews at the launch pads for various space programs. With his official title as pad leader, Wendt oversaw the important tasks of preparing the spacecraft for launch. If you've ever watched NASA documentary films, you may have caught a glimpse of Wendt. He was the bespectacled, thin man in a bow tie and white cap and coat, always seen near the hatch with a clipboard in hand. His meticulous attention to detail and expertise were evident as he bent over seated crew members, ensuring their safety harnesses were snug and secure for launch. Wendt's contributions spanned several groundbreaking missions, including the Mercury and Gemini programs, as well as the crewed phases of the Apollo, Skylab, and Apollo-Soyuz programs. His presence and expertise were invaluable in ensuring the success and safety of these missions, as he played a pivotal role in the closeout procedures before liftoff. As a McDonnell engineer, Gunter Wendt played a crucial role in the early days of the Mercury and Gemini crewed space programs at Cape Canaveral. His job was to oversee the preparations of the spacecraft launch pad, ensuring that everything was in order for a successful mission. Wendt became known as a good luck figure to the astronauts, always there with a reassuring smile and words of encouragement before they embarked on their space voyages. Wendt's authority was unquestionable on the launch tower, especially in the white room where the crewmen were loaded and secured. No one dared touch anything without his permission. In fact, when a stubborn engineer tried to make a spacecraft change without consulting Wendt, he promptly called security to have him removed. Wendt's commitment to safety and configuration control earned him the respect of the astronauts. Mercury astronaut John Glenn affectionately nicknamed Wendt der Führer of der Launch Pad for his efficient and disciplined leadership. Despite the seriousness of his role, Wendt always maintained a good-humored approach, often joking with the astronauts and wishing them a successful flight. His presence and attention to detail gave the crew members a sense of reassurance before they embarked on their historic missions. However, Wendt was not present during the tragedy of Apollo 1, where a cabin fire claimed the lives of Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chafee. After the accident, many expressed their wish that Wendt had been there, believing that he could have caught the fatal problem in time. Wendt, however, humbly dismissed such notions, understanding that the circumstances were beyond anyone's control. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.